Hello there, my name is Azad Martin and I wanted to talk to tell you that uh, Node.js is version 8 now which is kind of cool because uh, Node is using Google Chrome V8 engine and now go, uh, Node is V8 uh, which is version 8. Uh, for most of you probably it doesn't really matter if you are using Node.js for production so 8 is the version that you want to use because it's a long-term support version 7 and 9 uh, they have shorter lifespan so that means if there is a bug or security leak or some vulnerability you don't want to uh, use 7 or 9 or 5 you want to use one of those uh, even number of versions because uh, they would have longer life and people the contributors will um, try to patch them for a longer period of time and uh, some other uh, changes uh, they're related to the native modules so if you're developing C and C++ modules your life uh, is better now because there is an API uh, those things would not break as fast for other people there are improvements in uh, performance because you're just getting the new version of V8 uh, uh, to be exact it's uh, 5.8 uh, another difference is that uh, if you're a new user or if you're updating using NVM or N or Brew, uh, then uh, you would get the NPM version 5. With uh, Node version 8, you would get NPM version 5, which is uh, it was recently released a few days ago. And it's super fast. Um, that's really good because version 3 of NPM was super, super slow. And it has SHA-512 support, which is better. Um, the SHA is used to prevent uh, any collisions or corruptions. So basically, it's a sum check that checks uh, the packages. Also, now we have the default log files. Uh, so the shrink wrap existed before, but now the log files are default. So every NPM install will be uh, reproducible and predictable, which is really good. And then uh, another difference that is really big uh, uh, and it will be um, related to almost everyone. Uh, when you do NPM install now and you have a package .json, NPM will add that uh, package with the version number into your package .json. So similarly to what you uh, used to do with uh, dash dash save dash dev or dash uh, s capital S, uh, now it's done by default. So uh, check their uh, blogs, the NPM blog and the Node.js blog and leave me comments. What do you think about the new versions? Have you switched already or not? That's it for the short video and I'll see you later on the internet. Have a good day. Bye bye.